How's it going campers? In this video, we're gonna show you how we organize this pop-up camper and give you our top five tips to help you organize yours. In a 10 foot camper like this, proper organization is key. So we're gonna show you how we organize everything. We're gonna give you a tour of where we put our little baskets, our bins, what we do. And then at the end of the video, we'll give you our top five tips. Okay, so we're gonna start up with this side of the camper, show you how everything's organized, and then we'll flip around and then go on that side. So down over here, we have some storage containers. It's a double access area. So we have three storage containers we fit inside of this. We'll take them out in a second and show you. We also have storage underneath the dinette. So if I pull this off, you have a big area over here to put kind of whatever you want. Um, in this area, we only have a stool right now, but sometimes we'll put uh, like our heater in there. We'll put extra electrical cords. We haven't really found that much of a use for it because we've been able to put everything pretty much everywhere else. Um, but this is good to know because you can put a lot of stuff there. When we bought the trailer, there's actually an extra propane tank and that's where they stored it. I don't know if I would store it inside the camper, but uh, that's what they did. Okay, so on this side, this is our little kitchen area. We have two little store storage areas over here. Now on this one, we just keep this bin. So this is just miscellaneous stuff. Um, we keep like extra forks, extra plates, anything disposable, which is easy to get in and out. We also in the back of it, keep all of our extra coffee pods. So you'll see we got one for all of our curried cups and then one for all of our Nespresso cups. Now over here, you can see um, there's not that much space because we do have the wiring, but if you needed to put anything there, you can do that also. So this is a storage container that we bring in out of the camper. Um, this is nice because it's something that we'll keep in the house and then we'll refill it with food when we wanna go camping. And then when we go back home, the drawers are empty. So we usually put all the sheets in there. So it's a, it's a good thing that you can carry in and out. Um, and not take that much more space in the car. Now down here, we have two cupboards and then two drawers. So this cupboard over here, we have all of our cooking stuff. We have all of our plates, we have our bowls, we have our pots and pans in those areas. We have mixing bowls. These are all different cups that we keep. This is all of our spices. You see? Now in this cupboard, we just keep another one of those storage bins over there. And then this is our lights that we use for outside. Okay, so the first drawer, we have all the forks, spoons, knives, measuring cups, um, another frother. We bought this little plastic thing from Walmart and I think it had to be cut because it wouldn't fit in here. So you have to make sure you have something that would fit into the drawer. And then the second one, this is where we have like all of these other cooking things. Marshmallow sticks, scissors, aluminum foil, um, can openers, anything you would ever need. So this is our coffee station over here. And uh, this is where we spend most of the morning. So we have a Keurig, we also have an espresso. Uh, we keep all of our pods in a little organizer like this. And there's another one on the side of the Keurig that we use. So those little baskets with the pods that I mentioned that are in there, we don't actually use that often because maybe once a trip we'll have to take them out and they're offload. So keeping them at the back actually makes a lot of sense. We also have the frother, our little thermostat over there, and then our nice little fake plant. Okay, so these are the four storage bins that we have. And as I mentioned, three of them go in here, one of them goes in that cupboard over there. So the first is all of our water supplies, okay? So the thing with this storage bin is that we don't bring this every time we go camping. This is solely for parks that have water input. Okay, so Ontario parks don't usually have it, but if you go to any other ones like the Grand River, River Conservation Areas, uh, I think we've been to some other parks that have like water, we'll bring this storage bin. So we have our water filter, we have our hose, just some nozzle, other accessories, more stuff, and then our big fresh water hose over here. All of these. Okay, next bin. So this is all of our kind of towing slash miscellaneous stuff. So in here, we keep, we keep different like mosquito traps, fly traps, anything to get the creators out of the camper. We have some extra fire starter we got, garbage bags. So bring a lot of extra garbage bags. These are definitely useful and needed. We have more fire starter, extra rope that we need, Ooh, extra off spray. We could have used that this weekend. 
if there's any of kind of joints or issues with something in a trailer, we'll spray this on. It's like WD-40, but more of a heavy duty version of it. And then we just keep two wheel tracks as extra. Okay, so for the next bin over here, this is our electrical stuff. So we keep our um, little portable heater in here. If you watch the other video on our campsite setup, we usually like to use the electric heater compared to the propane one. Uh, it's quieter, it's more efficient, and uh, we don't have to waste propane. So we keep that. We keep a long extension cord. These are both of the heaters for the bedside mattresses. So if you don't know, this camper has heated mattresses. So be sure to check out our video on our full camper tour. Okay, that's pretty much everything we keep in this one. And the last bin we use is for de decoration slash more miscellaneous stuff. So if you look right now, we have just some cards, like we have some games, dominoes, um, another candle, tablecloth for the cover. And this is where we put all of our other stuff. So all of these like candles, fake plants, decoration. We like to make the camper feel as much as home as you can. So we'll kind of use this just dedicated for decor. So it's time for our top five tips. Okay, so tip number one is always think about what items are always going to stay in the camper, what items are always going to be kept in the car outside, and what items are going to be going in and out of the camper. So for example, we have this plastic storage bin, which always goes in and out of the camper. So when we come in, we store it with dry foods. And then when we leave, the food is all eaten. So we put all of the uh, bed sheets that we're going to bring home back inside of it. An example of things that always stay in would be all of the plates. So for us, we bought plates and cutlery specifically for the camper that only stay here. We don't take it out. You might, right? But it's good to have that organized and you always know what comes in, what comes out. Because the last thing you want is when you're packing up, you're forgetting to take stuff out that you are supposed to and then you've already done all the setup, so. Now an example of a bin that always stays in the car is this over here. So over here we have our wireless brake controller, we have a bike lock, a few bungee cords, leveling blocks, the plate that we use to keep the camper on, our level, and then our impact driver that actually lifts the camper up. Second tip is to get storage containers. So those four storage containers that we use are awesome and unbelievable. They're also good because they keep the bugs out and they're easy to refill or take out of the camper if you need it. Um, I think that the six pack was from Costco and it might've been $30. So we use four of them in here and then we use two other miscellaneous ones at home. And the other thing is like for us, we always have different people coming camping with us. So if we need them to grab something, they don't know where it is. We tell them exactly, you know, it's a green bin with the yellow, whatever. <laughs> and they can grab stuff for us, help us out. Same with like, I would say the utensils. It's really good when things are organized because people can easily find it, grab it. It's not just always us who are the only people who know where everything is. Tip number three is you want to think multi-purpose. So how can you use items for more than one thing when you have such a small space, you want to try and do that. For us, for example, we have that stool underneath there. We use that stool if we have an extra person who wants to sit. We also use it as a ladder when we're setting up the awning or whatever else needs to be set up. Another thing is this Keurig. Obviously it's a coffee machine, but we also use it for tea because it has hot water. And we also use it for the dishes when we need to you know, clean something that's oily or greasy. We use the hot water from here. Uh, another multi-purpose item, these pillows. They're very cute and comfy when you sit there, but we also shove them inside here because when you're driving the camper, all of those dishes and cups would be sliding everywhere, but we put this in between them so nothing moves. So tip number four is use stackable plates and cups, okay? Um, we cannot stress enough that there's not that much space inside this camper, so having things that stack onto each other are so much more useful than not. There's only two mugs that we keep that don't stack, uh, and those are our, our luxury goods, I would say. And then tip number five, make sure you get some different shelves for some of those little cupboards. Um, it makes it so much easier for organization instead of having everything thrown in there and put on top of each other. You can organize it nicely. So we hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please give us a thumbs up and a like. And if there's any other tips that you think might be useful, leave it down in the comments. One bonus tip that I would give to everyone is if you want your camper to be clean and you don't like when there's crumbs everywhere and mess, invest in one of these tiny vacuums, which you just turn on, vacuum very quickly. And if you've ever been camping, you know that people come in and out of the camper, there's always leaves, dirt, sand. 
Um, and this is just a lifesaver. Funny story is this trip, now that we're filming this two days ago, we came here, we were setting up the camper, it was late at night, and we started seeing all these ants, and then we started killing a few of them, obviously. We lifted this underneath this chair, there must have been at least a hundred, if not more ants, which we would have no way of getting rid of if we didn't have that little vacuum to just suck them all up. And it was the first time that we actually brought it, because I, I originally bought it for my car to keep my car clean, and we're like, oh, let's just bring it here. And thank God we did, because we would have been stuck with 100 ants in this little camper. So I would highly, highly recommend you have something similar to that.